We're here at the uh, Bayou Beyond View Triangle. We just, I just call it the Triangle. So we're on the edge of the Ninth Ward, and uh, we're looking at um, efforts to help respond. A couple of different ways here. First and foremost, we've taken some of our sheet piling that we normally use to construct um, uh, the flood walls themselves. And in, with a really cool idea from uh, some of our colleagues, we've made little containment vessels, little pots, if you will, to plant in some of the stronger woody vegetation. So we have these, um, these, this vegetation protected and encouraging it to grow. And we've, and that is the flood wall. So rather than a flood wall of concrete, it's a flood wall of steel and vegetation. The other thing we've done here is you look, as you look this away, is you can see that we have created an, what we call the overlook. So this is an area where the residents, visitors, whoever can come park and can access over the levee and actually see the wetland triangle region, take a, take a load off, take a rest, uh, get to sit in the shade, etc. And what we're, we're trying to highlight here is the crisis that's going on with our wetland loss here. So as we spin around and look, this whole uh, uh, vicinity here should be um, swampy, forested, heavy wooded uh, wetlands, swamp, bottomland, hardwood forest. It's not. We see the remnants of cypress trees. We see the remnants of this tall vegetation that used to be here and now is dead. All of these trees must have some amount of dry ground to germinate and start to grow. They can take a lot of inundation. They can take a lot of being underwater for a large chunk of the year, but they can't live forever submerged. The problems we have with wetland loss here in Louisiana um, are, are completely exemplified by this area. Construction, um, uh, uh, levying and cutting off of normal sediment supply, um, uh, 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 all the human disturbance that goes along with these things, so on and so forth. The, the end result though, is the Swiss cheesing out the erosion, the turning of these lands into ghost forests. They're no longer forests. They are things that have a memory of being a forest. And so if, we're, if we hope to save this landscape, we need to counteract this loss. We need to be more engaged. And, uh, and this effort is, is one such effort that um, hopefully is building more awareness of the situation and highlighting to residents and visitors alike the need for um, improved stewardship, more active restoration, and a general improved conservation ethic to deal with this and other landscapes across the region.